A brand new shiny DevStroll is here. The DevStroll 2 model family includes two versions, the 123 billion parameter flagship model and the 24 billion parameter compact variant, both optimized for coding tasks. In this video, we are going to install this compact version DevStroll small to 24 billion locally on our system and we are going to test it out. You can also use the larger flagship model in 123 billion through something called as Mistral Vibe CLI, which I will be covering too in another video. You can simply grab your API key from your website and start playing around with this model. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to focus on DevStroll Small 2, which is a lightweight fine uh, floating point 8 optimized model, fine tuned for instruction following and agentic coding. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe, and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype and fluff. I have been covering DevStroll models for quite some time and they have been evolving quite nicely, quite steadily in a typical Mistral style. So coming back to this model, despite its size, if you look at the benchmarks, it has really performed well and they have shared all the benchmarking information where it is even beating five times larger models and the context window of 256k is quite good for large code bases and the best thing is that it is released under apache 2 license i don't think so that the flagship model is released under apache i think that is mit but you would need to check uh, but for this you can see that it is very permissive license so let's get started and i'm going to install it on my local system where i'm running ubuntu and my gpu card is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram hopefully it is going to work with that now the tool which i need to use is vllm you can also use it with transformers but i'm going to serve it with vllm on my one gpu i have enabled the tool call where you can use external functionality and the tool parser is mistral if you don't know what vllm is and how to install it just go to my channel search with vllm tutorial and watch this video to get it installed fairly easily i have defined all the steps in this video so let me run this command it is going to download the model and the model is being downloaded while it downloads let's talk a bit more around this uh, new model which is the instruct model in small variants so as i said it is an agentic coding model you can use it with images and you can also uh, take advantage of its rope scaling and one of the coolest feature is that it enables you to analyze images and provide insights based on visual content in addition to text so you can just embed uh, not only the code but also the images with it model is downloaded and now being served on our local system now let me also launch my open web ui for gui and we are going to access the model and play around with it in the browser so it is starting the application and the model is now being served let's first do an image supported coding task so i'm just going to select an equation image from my local system and i'm going to ask it to give me a python code to solve the equation in the image and i will just fix this typo let's run this so this is the equation and you can see that it has immediately identified that this is a mathematical expression involving uh, superponents and summation which can be represented symbolically in python using sympy and it has given us the code here and did you see the speed how quick it was it's very efficient and lightweight too and i will show you vram consumption shortly but looking at it i believe it has done wonderfully well and the answer is spot on Okay, let's do a bit more code generation task, which is harder. So for the next task, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to ask Kate to act as a senior front-end engineer specializing in cybersecurity visualization and it needs to create a self-contained responsive HTML file where there are a lot of UI requir requirements around responsiveness. The data should be a dark theme, futuristic, and there should be some graphs, some lines, and that sort of stuff. So let it generate. And it has already started it. I'm very impressed by the speed of it. Let's check the VRAM consumption. And it is consuming just touch over 45 gig of VRAM. Okay, so let's go back. So 24 billion parameter, I think it is decent. Let's wait for it to finish and we will check it out in the browser. And the model took its sweet time, but you can see that it has produced something cool on the right hand side. There are almost over 900 lines of code it has produced and the code looks pretty good to me. But let's test it out. I'm just going to open this preview here. Maybe I will just open it in the browser. Maybe it's fine. Let's test it out. So you see that uh, first attempt looks quite good. The interface is responsive. There is a world map. There are there is some threat score. There are a few things here and there which could be improved, of course. And there is a graph for network traffic. Uh, log terminal will be filled when the log streaming. With that is what I asked it to do. And the threat breakdown is also quite interesting. This is alert field. Is there any scroll? There is no scroll here. What happens if I just click on run playbook? Nothing. Okay, so this is not responsive, but I could go back and check it out. But I think for a first attempt, it's not bad. I think it, if we reiterate it and maybe do a bit more proper prompting, it might be improved. So for a 24 billion model, I think it is fairly good first attempt. In the next task, I have given it an invoice image and I'm asking it to convert it into one single HTML file. Let's see if it can do a CR and extract it and give us the exact same invoice and we will check it out. And it has done the conversion. So I have just pasted it in the browser here. This is my original one. Sorry, not this one, this one. So if I compare it, and uh, let me maybe place it side by side. Hopefully you're also able to see, but let me quickly verify it. It says logo goes here. So OCR is pretty good. I'm just checking it line by line. More, you know, I think it has done wonderfully well. All the billing is fine. The numbers are good. Even the parts are good. Sorry, I'm just trying to move it. Yep, numbers are good nodes are there and it has done a really good job. So OCR and image understanding is fairly good with this model. Really, I'm not sure which vision encoder they are using, but it looks pretty cool. I think it must be the same one which they use with Pixel, but we'll check. So look, I'm very impressed by the model. Let me know what do you think. Stay tuned. I'm also going to show you in a separate window a video as how to use this Mistral Vibe CLI seems very interesting too. Uh, maybe, you know, you can use it with your coding agents and in your terminal easily. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.